Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nartus Redlingheis, and today I'm going to explain to you how Discovery Health's classic smart plan works. Please be so kind, do yourself a favor, go and watch my video on the basics of medical aid schemes. Once you've got the basics, and you then watch this video on a classic smart plan, the plan explanation will, much, will make much more sense to you, and it will be much more easier to understand. Classic smart plan, a single member con monthly contribution amounts to 1749 per month. The plan is mainly a medical aid hospital plan consisting out of risk cover. So the main focus point on this plan is risk cover. Risk cover means you will be covered for one, hospitalization, two, for rescue services, and three, for the 27 chronic conditions as laid on by law. In terms of hospitalization, very important, classic smart plan is you will be covered for all authorized admittable procedures, meaning you're wearing a bangle and a gown. Number two, there's two types of hospitalization, hospitalization for planned procedures, and hospitalization for emergencies. If it's a planned procedure, planned, uh, you must go to a uh, list of hospitals. Okay, if you do not use a list, the, the list of hospitals for planned procedures, there will be a co-payment of 8,800 rand per admission. If it's an emergency, you could use the nearest hospital if there is a valid reason why a network hospital could not be utilized. So, hospitalization, bangle and again, you will be covered for planned procedures in a list of, hosp in a list of hospitals, otherwise a co-payment uh, will apply, and if it's an emergency, you can use the nearest hospital if there is a very valid reason why a listed hospital could not be utilized, and the rate of reimbursement on this plan is 200% of the discovery health rate. So, very good hospitalization, only thing is, planned procedure, you must use the list of hospitals. In terms of rescue services, you also get air and road cover, ambulances and helicopters, and you will be covered for 5 million rand per 90 days journey overseas, and that will be funded, provided out of the international benefit. Uh, you will be covered for the 27 chronic conditions as laid on by law, which includes things such as A, asthma, B, blood pressure, C, cholesterol, D, diabetes, E, epilepsy, and K for cancer. In terms of this benefit, number one, my condition must be on a condition list as prescribed by government. It must be on the list of 27 chronic conditions. Number two, my risk factor must be in line. They've got certain criteria with which they measure it. If you've got asthma, do you use one asthma pump a month or one asthma pump a year? And number three, this plan only got a medicine formulary list. So if your, medicine, if your condition is on the list, your risk factor is in line, and you use medication on the formulary list, the medication will be covered. If you do not use the medication on the list, the medication will not be covered. If your risk factor is not in line, the medication will not be covered. It covered. And if your condition is not on the list, it cannot be paid from the 27 chronic conditions benefit, which forms part of the risk portion benefit on the classic SMART plan. Now, this is a medical aid hospital plan. This is where it's supposed to stop. A medical aid hospital plan only provides risk cover, hospital, rescue service, chronic condition cover. But as a bonus, as a bonus, this plan also provides you with a bit of day-to-day -day care. Now, when you go to Mug and Bean and you order a coffee, what are you supposed to get? Only a coffee. But now they give you a coffee and in the saucer, they give you a little biscuit. Can you complain about the biscuit? No, I wanted two biscuits. No, they give you a brown biscuit, a chocolate biscuit. No, I wanted the white biscuit. No, I actually wanted a piece of cake. No, you can't complain. Why? Because it's a bonus. You were not supposed to get a little biscuit at Mug and Bean with your coffee. Do you agree? Okay, so as a bonus, this plan provides you with, one, a list of GPs. A list of GPs with a 50 rand co-payment per consultation. So you can go to a list of GPs, 50 rand co-payment per consultation. And then that GP has got a list of prescribed medication. So if he prescribed you medication according to his list, you can take that prescription to a classic smart plan pharmacy and you'll pay a 10 rand co-payment per item on the prescription. If the doctor prescribes medication which is not on the list, 
Look at this. If it's not on the list, it is not covered. Because it's bonus benefits. And because it's bonus benefits, it's, it's working according to specific rules. So, extra bonus benefits, a list of GPs, 50 rand per consultation, a list of medication prescribed by the specific GP. You'll have a 10 rand co-payment per item on the prescription. If on this plan you need to go for a diagnostic scan, MRI scan, CT scan, you are not admitted, it's just a diagnostic scan, you'll pay a co-payment of 2950 out of your pocket and the balance will be paid from the hospital benefits. If, it's, if you're already admitted in hospital, you're eating your custard in your jelly, you're watching television and the nurse say, put down the jelly, switch off the TV and you scrick and you say, hey, what now? She says, now you're going for a, sc uh, for a scan. Then the whole scan amount will be paid from the hospital benefit because you are already admitted. But please remember, you cannot be admitted for diagnostic tests such as scans and scopes. If you're already admitted, the whole scan paid from the hospital benefit. If the doctor just sends you to get the scan done, you'll pay the first 2950 yourself and the balance will be paid from the hospital benefit. If you need to go for scopes, colono, scoopy, Gastro, scoopy. If it's done in the doctor's rooms, but just need to find for authorization and the whole thing will be paid from the hospital benefit. The whole scope amount will be paid from the hospital benefit, although it is done in the doctor's rooms. But, mostly if it's from the bottom and the doctor is afraid of the possibility that there could be some explosion, and he say, um, Tani, rather go to the hospital. If there's an explosion, you near the theater. Now the hospital is going to charge extra fees for the equipment and their time and their people, etc. Then you need to pay 4,550 rand yourself. And the balance of the scope will be paid from the hospital benefit. So the classic smart plan is one of my favorite risk portion benefit plans. One of my favorite Hospital, medical aid, hospital plans. It provides hospitalization, rescue service, chronic condition cover. It provides cancer cover. It provides bonus, list of GPs, list of medication. It gives you cover for diagnostic scans and diagnostic scopes. The main thing is you must just check if there's a hospital, a listed hospital in your area. And this plan works specifically very good in Gauteng. For more information, please go and visit my website.